September today. I don't know about you guys, but I get very excited when September starts. And don't mind me, I'm just re-pulling up my hair because it's morning time and it was falling out. But anyway, I love September, partially because our anniversary is in September, but also because it just feels like the beginning of fall. Even though it doesn't start till almost the end, it's like the weather maybe finally starts to cool down and you just start preparing for the fall time season. And it's exciting because all the fall stuff comes out. Even though I don't buy most of it, I really enjoy seeing all the fall decorations and things that people put out. And so I just, I love fall. It is my favorite season. So I'm very excited to be into September, which will very quickly roll into October and then it'll be time for pumpkins and carving them and Halloween and cooler weather and baking and cooking cozy meals and things and I'm just so excited that fall is coming. I hope you guys are excited too. I know some people love summer but to be honest I do not love it and it's actually going to be a hundred almost every single day this week or at least like for the next six days it's going to be a hundred or higher which I hate and I'm like Bleh, no thank you especially because it's super smoky here so it's smoky and hot and that is just not enjoyable for anybody to be honest but thankfully at the end of the next this next week we will be in Oregon where it at least will be cooler it might be smoky there too I don't know but anyways I'm just excited that it's September and I'm mm, I don't know what this video is gonna be actually um, I'm gonna be doing some decluttering I was watching some decluttering videos and got inspired to get some work done and I also have a girls night tonight and I kind of want to get my sisters in the video but I don't know if they want to so I have to ask them I know Emily would do it she's been in videos and I feel like Alicia would for sure and Melissa probably would too so I just feel like it'd be cool for you guys to be able to see all my sisters at once. I also have two brothers, which you guys, I think I've mentioned, obviously, at some point. But anyway, I'm hoping to get them in the video later today, depending on how things go the rest of the day. But yeah, I'm going to show you my first project that I have to get done today. So this is our junk drawer. Basically, since we moved in, anything I didn't know where to put it just got thrown in this drawer. <laughs> like, this is not cool. This is a wreck. So today... This has got to change. Hey. Here you go, baby girl. It's Green Daddy's favorite. It is Green Daddy's favorite. Okay, I got that drawer emptied out, but then I paused to clean up a little bit and make us some spinach and watermelon juice. Um. I'm trying to get back on the health train this week <laughs> because with Aaliyah's birthday and us moving, I feel like we have had a lot of vegan junk food happening around here. Um, so yes, I am trying to get back to eating better. Not 100% perfect because let's be honest, I'm never going to be 100% a healthy person because I do like junk food. So yeah, but this morning we're starting with watermelon spinach juice, which I have been liking. It's very refreshing in my opinion. Anyway, moving on from... The healthy stuff which is a little bit funny to try to get back to eating healthier when we're going on vacation because you know vacation but i'm going to try to also not eat too crappy while we're on the trip because i want to feel good while we're on the trip so yes i'm going to drink that and get this stuff organized because it's a wreck and a lot of it i think is just garbage like things that i was like i don't know if we need this so i just set it down or put it in the drawer i mean and then like we have the manual for our air conditioner i just need to put with our other manuals and find homes for a lot of these things. This isn't just gonna be our junk drawer, it's also gonna have like our pens and pencils and scissors and tape that we use regularly. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna divide that so it's not messy all the time, but I've gotta figure out a way to make this junk slash office drawer work for us. Alrighty, here's where I'm at. That all was just garbage. All of these things need to find a new home, which is going to be the more challenging part of this project. And then this is what we have left. we have got some band stuff, computer cleaner. This is our designated spider slash bug catcher. Let me slide that under to capture them. Uh, I've got my lighter. This is from like the curtains and stuff that need to be hung up and a couple of other things. I wasn't sure what they were so I'll ask Brian. Um, these just seem like something that should stay in a junk drawer. Um, these are the knobs to our heaters in the house that I took off because Aaliyah turned one on and that is not safe. We're not even going to be using them because I don't like baseboard heaters. But yeah, so that's a safety precaution. And we just have scissors, sharpie, and some tape. And I'm also going to be moving in our pens and pencils and other um, take because I was just used to having those kinds of things in the kitchen and we have them in a different drawer in the hallway and I just don't like it because I keep reaching for a pen or paper and I don't have it so I'm going to be putting a few more things in this 
office side of the drawer. All right, this is what the drawer looks like now. I'm decently happy with it. Um, I'm just worried that, yeah, stuff like that's gonna happen. So it's gonna be messier than my old office drawer, but I'll figure out something else to kind of hold these in place. Right now I'm gonna go work on another drawer. Okay, this is my second drawer I'm working on. It's like our extra office stuff, batteries. Oh, that should've gone out in that drawer. And I think I might put our envelopes out there too, because for the very first time, we have to pay rent by check. So we're ordering checks and we've always had direct deposit with all of our bills, but this is the first place we've lived that we can't do that. So that's kind of interesting. So yes, I'm having a struggle right now because I feel like I don't really need this thing. It's holding my buttons, but I also don't really need my buttons. I just, why do I like buttons so much guys? They're just cute, you know? And I always think, oh, a project someday. Wanna do a project someday? not very minimalist of me, I know, but I don't know. I feel like I could downsize these a little bit more and just save a few that I really like. Just put it in with like my sewing stuff because I do sew stuff. And I've got to figure out what to do with batteries. And I like this thing, but I kind of wish I had a better use for it. Like something like to where I would see it all the time instead of it being in the drawer. And then this is extra like craft supply things. I just want to go through all this and decide if I really need it or if I can get rid of it. Okay, so this is what I have going on in this drawer now. Uh, this is extra, like, art supplies and birthday supplies. These are random bits of tape that just need to be finished up, but we don't need tape that often, so I was tempted to just throw it away, but then I knew if I did, Ryan would be like, hey, where's that tape? Um, this now is housing our batteries, instead of having them in packages and stuff, and I have use for that so I can keep it. <laughs> and then it's just my sewing stuff. So, yeah, I found some things I'm going to donate. I found some things that are just going in the garbage, and I got Aliyah's room cleaned back up. If you guys saw my vlog yesterday you know it was a wreck in here. So this is better. I'm really still getting tempted to like downsize toys because I'm just so tired of it being a mess and she just keeps throwing everything everywhere but she's not really old enough to know how to like organize things because she has like this thing so very specific toys go in each one and she like she tries to help obviously but um she just doesn't know how to set everything back up in proper order I guess. So yeah, I'm a little tempted to downsize her stuff a lot and then when she's older, if she wants more stuff, she has to organize it herself because I'm just getting tired of cleaning up toys, honestly, which probably sounds really whiny because I only have one child and some people have like six kids that they all have toys and it's crazy. But living in the smaller space, I just feel like it's bothering me a lot more than it used to. So maybe, maybe I'll just get used to it and then I won't care that it's messy. Yeah. Or either that or I'm thinking maybe we just need a toy box that all of her toys go in. It's less organized, but at least then she can help clean up way easier because it's just everything goes in one box. But I feel like that would have to be a pretty big box to put all of her toys in. So we'll see what I do about that. But anyways, I've gotten a few things organized and a little bit decluttered, so that's good. I need to go take a shower because it's almost 1030 already. And all of that took longer than I thought it was going to. So I gotta go shower and then we'll see. What else I get done today, I guess. So I just came out to my kitchen to uh, check and see how long my potatoes had, and I realized I set my timer, but I did not start my timer. So that's just great. Now I don't know how long my potatoes have been cooking for, so we're gonna try to peek at them. And they look like they're getting close. They're not quite there yet. Okay, I wanted to have a quick chat with you guys about the comments section. And I'm liking this little ledge in my kitchen. It's just becoming my blogging spot because I can set it down and talk to you guys. It's kind of nice. Um, so, why this is coming up. Um, one of my subscribers, I'm going to give a shout out to her, is Rebecca's Raw Vlogs. Um, she's been commenting on my videos for a while and then I finally got around to looking at her channel. I'm really bad at looking at other people's channels, honestly. And I've been kind of binge watching her videos and they're fun and she's vegan and she's got three kids. So it's kind of fun to watch those. She has a lot of videos though, so I'm not gonna be able to watch all of them probably. You guys can check her out if you'd like to. Anyways, I was going to my comment section because I was just curious what all we had talked about in the comments because it's really hard to remember who said what <laughs> in the comments honestly um, and I found one of her comments that I had missed early on and so anyways I commented on that and that was from like a month ago and so then I just went through like my past six months worth of comments just quickly like looking to make sure I hadn't missed any others and I found one more that I had missed and um, so point of all this rambling is that I really do try to reply to on my comments. So if I miss one, it's probably like it just didn't pop up in the notifications or something. Um, 
but I do really try to reply to all of your guys' comments, which is why I'm happy for where my channel's at currently, because I think if it got bigger and I was getting like a ton more comments, I wouldn't necessarily be able to respond to everybody, and I like being able to. So yeah, if I've missed your comment, it's probably by accident, and I'm not ignoring you, I promise. Um, I really do, like I said, try to respond to all of them. I think I've responded to at least like 95, if not more percent of my comments that I get besides ones that are like spam ones I don't necessarily I usually just delete those um, and sometimes if it's like a really short comment I'll just like it or whatever uh, but yeah I really do try to respond to all of you guys and I also wanted to say for any of you who maybe hesitate to comment on videos please do like um, I know myself when I watch people's videos a lot of times I won't comment because I'm like they probably don't care what I have to say or if there's someone who has a ton of subscribers I'm like they're not even gonna see this because they have you know thousands and thousands of subscribers even millions with some people and it just kind of I feel like man they they won't care and then I always worry I'm gonna say something and everybody's gonna jump all over me and be like you're wrong because of this or you're judging them and like like that's never what my intention but I just feel like people get so hypersensitive in the comment section so sometimes I don't personally comment on videos um, but I do want you guys commenting like I really like interacting with you guys and talking to you so if you feel hesitant to please don't like Anything you want to say is fine. Like I've stated in previous videos, I really enjoy the comments I get and I've only gotten a few kind of strange comments and even those are fine. Um, there's just been a couple that it's kind of like, okay, well I don't know what you want me to do about that. Like when people tell me I shouldn't do something and I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> and I guess that's just a little bit weird, but it's still fine. And then um, I think my favorite comment, which I came across when I was just scrolling through is from my last home tour video from our last house. My favorite comment was someone just said, no style. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time I think about it because I don't know, it's like, slam, you have no style. And I just think it's funny because I really don't care if somebody thinks I have no style. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just commented back like why thanks or something like that with a smiley face because I don't know if they were just saying it to say it or if they were trying to be rude but I just thought it was funny actually so jokes on them I guess anyways I think that's all I wanted to say but yeah please do comment if you have something to say not that you have to you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to but just if you want to say something Feel free to do so. And now I'm going to get lunch finished prepared. Oh, two other things I forgot to mention. One was that recently, for some reason, I just was not getting updates. I was having to go into the comment section to check, so I didn't miss anything because I was doing that, but somehow it like got unchecked to tell me when I got notifications, which why would anybody do that? I don't know. So anyways, I got that figured out, and now I am getting notified when people comment, so that's good, but if that happens again, I could end up missing something. Um, and also I was gonna let you guys know because most people who subscribe aren't also youtubers but for those of you that are um, who subscribe to me and most of you aren't like hey come subscribe to my channel but it has happened a couple times um, I personally do not subscribe to people from the one more vegan channel if I am going to subscribe to you I subscribe from my personal account because that's where I watch videos because it's the account that I have linked on my phone so anyways like just with Rebecca's raw vlog so I'm currently watching um, I subscribe to her from my personal account, not the One More Vegan account, so I am subscribed. It won't look like it, but just so you guys know, if you're ever wondering, like, why doesn't she subscribe back? That's why. I just don't subscribe to anyone from this channel. Um, maybe you didn't need to know that, but I guess maybe it's good information to put out there. That way people don't think I'm, like, full of myself and that I don't watch other YouTubers, because I do probably too many, and I don't subscribe to a lot of people, even if I like their content, just because... I don't have the time of day to watch everybody's videos all the time. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's the rest of my thoughts on YouTube stuff right now. So for lunch today, I'm having something I haven't made in a long time. It's just spinach with baked cubed up potatoes on top, seasoned however you like. And then I make a maple syrup and mustard dressing. Super easy. It's just those two things, however much of each you want. And I'm going to drizzle it over the top. And ta-da! It's really good. So another couple quick things. Um, we finally bought hippies. Is that how you say it? Hippies? Or hip peas? I'm not sure. Anyways, I keep seeing vegans talk about these. And because the, the white cheddar is vegan, which is cool. Because a lot of cheddar flavored things are not, obviously. But anyways, I think they're pretty good. They're a little bit different. 
And I know I just said I was trying to eat healthier, but I feel like as far as the snack goes, they're pretty healthy. I'm actually think I'm done with them because I'm really not hungry after lunch, but I just wanted to try a couple. Um, we also got the barbecue flavored, but I'll wait for Ryan to be home to try those because I was going to wait to try these with him, but then I, Aaliyah just needed a snack earlier, so I opened them, but I tried some and I like them. Um, that was Aaliyah putting her dish in the sink like a responsible little baby. Good job, sweetie. <laughs> I had to pause there for a second because Aaliyah came out covered in ketchup. Um, <laughs> that's what she had with her potatoes because um, she loves ketchup. Anyways, the second thing I was going to say is Ryan just texted me. And not only does he have all of next week off for vacation. We're only vacationing for three days, but Monday's Labor Day. And then he just decided to take off that Tuesday instead of going into work one day because one of his bosses was like, you know, you could just take Tuesday off. Kind of makes more sense instead of coming in for one day. So we decided to have him take that off because he has vacation time anyway. So he has all of next week off, but he had had a potential show, like concert today, um, and he had had that on his work calendar and forgot to take it off. So apparently everyone at work thought he was leaving early today. So they thought he was leaving anyway. So his boss was just like, you can take off early if you're done working because there's not a lot for him to do because they've been telling everyone that he was going to be gone for the afternoon. So Ryan's coming home early, which I'm really excited about. So we're getting our vacation week started a couple hours early, which is cool. And I'm thinking maybe if he's up for it, we might go to the park or do something fun with Leah. She's over there. I don't know if she heard me say that, but yeah, I'm excited. Okay guys, so we have Ryan with us now and Leah in the back, of course. And we have decided to go to the mall. Um, it would have been fun to go to the park, but like I said, it's hot and smoky here. So not actually very fun to be outside right now. And it's really hot. Um, but anyways, when we went on a trip a while back, we stopped at a mall and Aaliyah got to go on some of the like, what do you call those? Coin operated Coin rides. Coin operated rides. And she thought they were like the best ever and we've never taken her to our mall here. And so we're gonna go check out the little coin operated rides they have here. And someone's very excited. Can you show me your purse you have? She's got her purse with all of her quarters and we're gonna go on some rides and then Ryan actually needs to look for a shirt that he needs, so gonna get both those things done and it's gonna be so fun. Now rides? Yep, going on rides. Now rides? A lot? Well, I think we said three, but we'll see. I think Daddy said five. Oh, Daddy said five? Really, Daddy? Is that uh, what you said? I said we're bringing five dollars, just in case. <laughs> I see. All right, let's look at all of them and decide which one we want to ride the most. What do you see, Leah? One. one way down there. <laughs> Leah, what are you on? Well, that delicious pretzel happened. I should have known as soon as Ryan got off work early that uh, something exciting is going to happen like that that doesn't go along with my healthy eating plan, but I gotta say, I feel like it was worth it. That thing is freaking bomb, and it's one of those freak things that happens to be vegan, unless we've got bad information, but we heard they were, so hopefully they are. I am proud of myself, though, because I did not go into any of the many, many stores that were bragging of their 30 to 60% off sales happening because of back to school and Labor Day, I think. Because it's tempting when you see that much off, like, I know it's just a sales tactic, but I tell you, it's tempting, but I was like, no, we don't need anything. No, we do not need anything. Aaliyah does not need clothes, even if it is 60% off. She doesn't need anything. So we came to look for the one thing, didn't find it. And the only thing we bought was that pretzel and a drink. So pretty good, I think. And Aaliyah's having fun. Those pretzels are seriously good. Like the smell, as soon as we walked past it, I was like, oh no. 
and we didn't get it at first and then the next time we walked past I was like yes okay we have to hey do you like it or no 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 too big okay I think they're a little big for you sweetie okay. yeah here, let me hold them up to yours and see how big they are oh yeah those are kind of big it'd be a few years before those fit you sweetie they look cool though what do you think of them? Yeah. They stay on really well. But them hurt. They hurt? Uh -huh. Okay, so you don't want them? I know not to fit, but I don't want them. They do fit, but you don't want them? Good job knowing what you like. So it's been forever and we've had girls night and I just wanted to quickly introduce you guys to Alicia who is right above me and then Melissa who is the oldest of the four I'm of us. Her. Emily's out <laughs> talking to one of our friends in the living room so she's not in this clip. Oh there's Emily! It's all four of us all together. <laughs> but you guys have met Emily before so these are all of my lovely sisters just so you guys can finally see them and hopefully they will be in, <laughs> in more videos soon. Right guys? We should do a video together. I don't know about what, but it'd be fun. Any, <laughs> any thoughts? Uh, a video, yes. Okay. I support. Yeah. I support a vlog at some point of some sort. All right. That's I support it. A park day. Yeah. Or uh, cooking. We'll wear color coordinated clothes. Oh, like me and Emily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we'll actually all the red sweaters. Yeah. This literally happens almost every time we're together. At least two of us are wearing like the same. Time. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, these are my lovely sisters I grew up with. And then, you know, the boys came along late in life and kind of wrecked the party a little bit. But we love them, so it's okay. <gasps> All right. Bye, guys!